Yeah, good everyone. It's Matt from Crank Engineering, and just want to talk about the engine paint job I've done on this Z250 build. And there's, I guess, two ways to do an engine paint job. There's a cheap way, and there's an expensive way. And this being a budget build, uh, this is the cheap way. So I'm going to talk about how I've done it. The expensive way is to pull this thing completely to pieces and sandblast it all, and get all the paint off and grease and everything else, and then uh, reassemble and paint it. But obviously, that takes time. And if you're paying someone else to do it, that takes money. So this is uh, how I've done it in this particular case. And uh, let's just go through some of the steps and, and the finish that we've been able to achieve so far on, on this half of the engine. So uh, the first step, obviously, is you've got to clean it, uh, especially of any grease or anything else that, uh, on any of those surfaces or dirt, because that will come off eventually, and then it'll take your paint off with it if you paint it over it. So you've got to try and get it as clean as you possibly can. In this case, I've used wire brushes, and then I've also used a Kero gun, which is this guy here. So attach it to the compressor, fill it full of Kero, and I've given it a Kero bath. That was actually the first step, was a Kero bath. And then wire brushed anything that was loose, uh, blew it all off with an air duster, and then wax and grease remover uh, best I can, wiping over all the surfaces. Now, obviously, in between all the fins, you're not going to get a whole lot of success there. So you're really relying on a wire brush to loosen off all the rubbish that's in there. Now, you know, we've been able to get a pretty good finish on you know, the big flat surfaces like these side covers and around the head. Um, I've only done this side of the engine. I'm about to flip it over and do the other side, so I'll show you that in a second. Um, I figured I'd do the bottom first and uh, if I scratched anything, moving it around on the bottom, it's probably not going to be such a big deal because it's um, the bottom. So. Uh, let's just see what happens if you don't get a really good cleaning job done. See here around, I missed this part here around the oil filter housing and we've painted over it so that's not going to work very well but there is paint underneath that to the original factory paint and since this is the bottom of the bike under the engine I'm not going to lose sleep over it and the customer doesn't need necessarily want to pay for me to strip this down any further. So like I said I've done this, this side of the engine all over um, stuffed rags in the ports. I've covered all the threads with uh, tape, covered the engine mounts with tape, the oil filter's got tape, some plugs, stuff like that. Um, some of the covers I've taken off and the starter motor was uh, removed too because that was covering up a big chunk of the engine on the other side and I'll show you that in a second. So uh, yeah, let's flip it over and have a look. Okay so we flipped this motor over and we're about to do the other side. I've just screwed a couple of these covers back on covered up the shifter and you can see this is why I took the starter motor out underneath it is pretty dirty and uh, there's a chance you could still see that uh, after it's been painted so I thought I'll just rip it out and clean all that out so I'm just going to use wax and grease remover and um, tape up the cam chain uh, tensioner and the breather tape that up tape up the starter motor uh, input hole there and um, give everything else a wipe and I'll tape up over here this is where the chain drive comes out so I don't really want paint in there so I'll tape all that up and uh, then we'll throw some more paint on you can see just here this is the side that I have done already but there was a bit of grease on here and I could see it when I flipped the motor over so I've wiped it but I've taken some of the paint off so I really don't want to have to strip this whole cover if I can avoid it so I'm going to put a couple of coats of paint on and see how it goes if it looks bad I'll just strip the cover and do it again so we'll see how we go but uh, yeah just wax and grease remover and a rag and get as much of that out as it possibly can. You can see, hopefully in the photo, between the matte black here, which is the painted side that I've done already, and the gloss, which is the original paint on the motor. So, I hope that's obvious, and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so here's the engine finished up, and I've taken all the masking tape off, so I've uncovered the ports. And really, not a bad job, considering how much time and money we've spent on it. Um, I think it'd be adequate for this, this particular build and this budget. So there's a couple of things left to do. I'll have to do this uh, paper gasket that was under here. This is the exhaust, or the crankcase breather, and it's just to exhaust into the air box. So I've got to put this cap back on, which is this guy here. Well, I'll have to make a new gasket, so I'm going to do a video on that for you. Just a cork or a paper gasket, so you can cut that out of some sheet. And other than that, um, I'll let this sit for 24 hours, and we'll drop it back in the frame and see how things go. So. One thing I want to do, and I've um, spoken to the customer about, is I'll take all the screws out 
and uh, polish the heads, take the paint off them, and just maybe break up all that black with a with a bit of silver or um, nickel plated screws. So that might uh, break up all that black a bit. So uh, other than that, job you can do at home with a bit of time and a bit of care. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.